observe the internal light. What is light? Light is what gives us access to perception. When something appears out of nothing, that's light. When we open our eyes, we see one kind of light. But that light is not the original light. That light is also a name, it's also a symbol. That light is a symbol for the light that you can perceive with your eyes closed. In that light, the light that you perceive with your eyes closed, by the shining of that light, you receive guidance from beyond. This is what has been guiding you. This has been your teacher. The internal light. If there's no light, there's no learning. The light reveals to us what's already there, what's always there. If we saw the light, then we would know what's always there. If we know what's always there, then we won't be bothered by the things that come and go. So everything external is a symbol that speaks to our being on multiple levels. The word light is also a symbol. When we say light, we might use the word as a symbol for a symbol. But really, the word light, the original word light, was referring to the real light, the light that exists without the physical eyes. So return to observing your light. Who is observing the light? another light because the one that's observing also came out of nothing everything that comes out of nothing is light is a ray a ray shining out from the infinite so observe and as you observe the light you know that the one observing is just another ray. Behind him, there are many rays that create his ability to be. Behind the lens that you are looking through, there are many other lenses. Some of them belong to the collective. You can't take them off. Some of them belong to the individual and you can and sometimes you should take them off all to allow the light shining from the infinite from the unmanifest from potential that has no limits into the vessel that is going to constrict this light into something defined into something that has a form. 
Every particle is the receptor of light. This is why when the sun shines on that particle, we can see it. Because it's already within its capacity to receive the rays of the sun and be revealed. And so that light that is inside the particle gets revealed when the external light shines on it. And so everything that exists is a form of light, including darkness. Darkness is a form of light to the extent that it exists. The imagination has a darkness that refers to non-existence. That darkness has no light. But that darkness is imagined. If it had existence, it had light. Everything that exists inside of us and around us is just a particle of the sun's light. Everything that we can define inside of ourselves is an attribute that's governed by the sun and the satellites that are the planets surrounding it. The sun is a ball of light. The sun is a revelation. We are a result of that revelation. We are the ones the revelation is intended for. And that revelation is a revelation of light, a revelation that we don't have if we are earthbound if we lose access to the higher elements within our soul. Then we only know the earth and we only know darkness. The nature of earth is darkness. Earth is on the opposite side of the fire, which represents light. So from the light, which is the fire, comes the air, and then the water, which is the emotional, and then the earth, which is the practical, which is dark, which has no light. And we bring light from the higher elements to the earth in order to make the earth shine, to reveal the light within the earth, because everything that exists is light. Even the darkness is light. Even the earth is light. It's a form of light that needs to be revealed. That's why we're here. It's a form of light that hides as darkness. It's the kind of sweet soul that seems to be very aggressive and disturbed. And we have to see beyond appearances. We have to understand what's driving. We have to understand how things become and why. And we have to remember why everything becomes the original light that is being revealed in everything that exists. All forms of light, all forms of existence are forms of spiritual light. They are just rays from the one that is existence. And from him they get everything they have. Sometimes 
through mediators, which are other lights, and sometimes directly from the original light, if they are worthy. Observe the light that is you. Observe the light constantly as things are happening, as moods are changing, and maybe try to match a color to the light that is shining at any given moment. There are different portions. To have a united spirit is to have the Holy Spirit, which means that everything below the Holy Spirit is going to have multiple colors at the same time. Sometimes these colors can be at odds with each other, just like the Spirit itself can be arguing with itself. She can hold opposing opinions at the same time. It's just a database. You can write whatever is written and then if there's a conflict, then the spirit is living in two realities at the same time. Which means that in each reality, she is weaker. Some of her doesn't agree. Then the light is conflicted. Then if this process continues to deteriorate, the spirit that has been shining light will appear to be darkness itself. All the different colors of light arguing with each other will result in the appearance of darkness. And yet, all it can ever be is light. Humanity must be a tremendous light to be able to dilute the light of the Almighty until it appears like darkness. We balance out His light to the extent that His light appears to be darkness. That's how powerful we are. until that's what the prophet sees. The prophet sees the earth covered in darkness because humanity has left the source of light. And they're looking for light in places where you can only find darkness. They're looking for relaxation in places that can only add stress. They're looking for unity and peace in places that can only result in conflict and competition. And yet all there is is light. Competition means light against light until there's darkness. Every form of conflict is light against light until there's darkness. That's why conflict is so horrible, because conflict means we're using the divine energy to destroy what the divine energy wants to create. So it's not just something happening within humanity. This is the divine energy that's programming the universe. This is the divine energy that 
is going to result and how much light the sun is going to receive from the spiritual realms so that it can bring it forth to humanity. When we see the sun shining, that's just a metaphor to what the sun is doing for us spiritually. This world is a world of metaphors, a world of symbols. The light is no light. The sun is no sun. It looks like it to our eyes because our eyes are a metaphor. Our eyes translate metaphors into information. Just like our ears translate random sounds into forms of meaning. All these are light. All these are revelation to the internal being. The being that is, the only one that is. The senses don't create another reality, the senses just create access so that the metaphor can reach the internal light. Return to observing your light and remember that you receive directly from the original source of light. Regardless of how you choose to address that light, you receive directly from the original source of life. 